It's Russ Curtis, uh, professor of counseling, your favorite Pisces, INTJ, Enneagram 4, high openness, or maybe maybe in your top 10 of those. I don't know, but thanks for joining me. Thanks for all the folks subscribing. This is for those of you, and frankly, I think it's going to be most of you who are in the behavioral health profession who will be consulting at some point with medical professionals. This is particularly salient for folks who are going to be working in integrated care settings, which is clearly the trend, and I think we need a lot more folks in that. So integrated care, behavioral health folks working within primary care practices, within the emergency departments, within the oncology wards, within the cardiovascular uh, halls of a hospital and so forth. And so how do we talk with medical professions about what we do. Maybe I'll do some uh, video also on personality of medical professions. It's overly generalized, but that might be helpful to know as well. So, okay, I'm a medical professional. I'm consulting. Maybe I'm working side by side with medical professionals. This would be the language I might use is, uh, hey, doctor, yeah, I'm using motivational interviewing to build rapport and to increase client motivation. Now, what I'm also kind of saying here, but I'm not going to say it, is I'm holding space for a client. I'm using person-centered humanistic principles to build connection and rapport because we know without that ingredient, nothing else really matters or works very well. Okay, but holding space, person-centered, being present, I'm not going to use that language with a medical professional. Next, I'm doing 15 to 20 minute brief prescriptive interventions, teaching practical skills. Okay, maybe it's the four, seven, eight square breathing that you hear about to help with relaxation. Maybe it's some simple mindfulness practices and so forth. So I'm being aware that, hey, I'm not going to go close my door for 50 minutes and we're not in some kind of personality restructuring session where I'm analyzing their id ego and super ego. No, brief, prescriptive. Think school counseling. School counselors have got integrated care down. They're having to work equally well with teachers and parents and administration as they are with their clients and their clients' parents and so forth. So that's what you're doing. I'm also assessing using the patient health questionnaire nine with the GAD, the Generalized Anxiety Disorder seven. I'm using uh, trauma screens, all different kinds of trauma screens. That's why I put the question mark out there. But those would be three that you want to definitely say. I could have also added CAGE for um, alcohol and drug use. Uh, so you might want to look that up as well. Um, I'm using the five A's for smoking cessation. Okay, so I'm using a protocol to help people consider reducing their tobacco use. So did I say alcohol? Reducing tobacco use. Okay, so I'm going to ask him. I might give advice. I'm going to assess where they are, assist with any help, and arrange for next appointments. Can I check in with you again? I'm using the six A's for opioid use reduction. Okay, these. This is the language we've got to use with medical professionals. So. I'm going to see how does the pain get in the way of their activities on a scale of one to 10. How bothersome is the pain? How much is the medication working to reduce pain? That's the analgesia effect. Um, adjuncts. Is there anything else that they use that's helpful? Acupuncture, massage, um, adverse effects, anything they notice from using opioids. Uh, constipation is a big one that you'll hear. Aberrant behaviors. Do they find themselves ever... Uh, barring other medication or buying medication from a, an illegal source, not from their docs, and then making sure that I'm documenting adequately for that. Um, I'm using AI to analyze personality variables to tailor a personality treatment plan. By the way, if you have not tried this, it's pretty cool and it seems to be getting more powerful. Take somebody's Enneagram. So let's say you got a Pisces and Enneagram for an INTJ. And then add what other variables you want to. Okay, I'm a I'm an older white male, uh, born and raised in the South, um, and you can get a prescriptive kind of treatment plan, and it's at least a starting place to work with. So, using that type of thing, I also want to thank uh, Unsplash and Accure for this beautiful photo. Let me know your thoughts on this, and we will talk to you on the next video. Take good care.